Hi, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. It's been a minute. Today is gonna be a little day of experimentation. Kind of combining some of the stuff I've done recently, testing something to see if I can implement it in a larger project. I wanna see if we can make cobblestone out of caulking. I made dirt roads out of this stuff, and a lot of people asked if you could use a textured rolling pin to give it a pattern. And I think the answer is probably maybe. We gotta try it. So I'm gonna experiment with that today uh, just to see how to make that work. But I also want to test it in molds. These are molds of cobblestone streets that I had made for some large tiles. I would love if this worked because I wanna take this rubber mat material and make a large two by three mat for my game, Idols of Torment. And one of the visual themes within that terrain is this cobblestone pattern, which I will usually pour plaster into and then break up and then mix with some modeling compound to decorate the bases. But since I wanna make a flexible mat on this material, and I wanna implement this pattern, I can't use plaster because it will just like crack, right? I need something flexible. So if I can take this and put it in this and pull it out and use it on this, it would be fantastic. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I'll be able to like pull it out of this mold or if this silicone will stick to this silicone. I hope not. And I'm gonna use this little one first, just in case I ruin the mold. I don't wanna ruin this large one. Again, I'm gonna use this DAP Dynaflex 230. This stuff is fantastic. It is a latex, acrylic, silicone mix. It's paintable and you can already buy it tinted. I got black and gray, both of which will be awesome as a substrate for roads or tiles or whatever. Generally, when I'm working on something like this, experimenting, I will think a lot of things through. I won't always mention all of those things because it gets very wordy. But then inevitably people comment, why didn't I do this or I should try this? And it's stuff I thought of and came to a conclusion that I didn't want to do for various reasons. Here's my thought process on this. I hope that this these just don't stick as is. Cured silicone, not a lot wants to stick to it. I could use some sort of mold release agent. I could use a spray, which I have, but then I'm worried that it will attach to this and make it hard to paint later. I don't like that stuff, it's really greasy. The other option is like some kind of powder, like maybe using a baby powder in this mold to dust the mold, that also helps. But because this is kind of viscous and I'm gonna have to spread it through, I think it'll just move it around and make a mess. And also I don't necessarily want baby powder on this. I am just going to send it. <laughs> Let's just see, I don't need it to be really thick. Just enough to take this texture. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a while to wait for this to be oh that is way too much silicone that is way too much i made this way thicker than i needed to the problem with making it very thick is that it'll just take forever to like a lot longer to cure so i'm gonna thin this out a bit we're off to a good start here so you usually don't see in videos all this nonsense okay you see with my soapy wet fingers i'm able to spread this out not sticking to my hands. I mean, it is a little bit, but it wipes off. I expect this will take a day to cure enough to peel it out. Maybe it won't take that long, but it might. So I'm gonna put this aside. And if that works, I'll be able to fill this large one and make big pieces, which would be fan friggin' tastic. Um, but what's probably more relevant to most of you is using textured rollers on this stuff with some of this rubber. I'm gonna cut a few uh, small test strips here. But I'm gonna try three different ones and see how it goes. So first thing, just like the roads I made before, is to apply some of this caulking to the rubber. Questions are still flying about how to get this rubber. I guess a lot of people are having a hard time getting this stuff. Very easy in Canada, uh, but not so much elsewhere. A good suggestion I saw as an alternative is rubber baseboards. You know the ugly rubber baseboards you get in commercial spaces? That's gonna be a very similar material in a very similar thickness and you should be able to get that very easily. I think that would work quite well for roads. Obviously, if you wanna make a big battle mat, it's not gonna work. 
Got this applied. I think I want to get it fairly smooth. Lots of water on there. And this water will actually help kick this caulking into curing. It won't slow it down. If anything, it'll speed it up. I got a spray bottle here, has some in it. I just really want to get that wet. And I guess I can just like dunk this and hope for the best. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. That's freaking working so awesome. Oh my God, it's working perfect. <laughs> oh, it's not even that dirty. It's just a little milky. I can wash it off. I can wash it off. Oh, that looks good. That looks so good. Uh, that's fantastic. However, it's gonna make for a shorter video because I thought I'd have to try a whole bunch of different things to make this work. I thought there would be an entertaining portion where I ruined the roller, but it appears not. I can't believe how well that worked. I'm gonna try these two with these different patterns, but I fully expect they're gonna work awesome. Oh, this is beautiful. This is fan friggin tastic lovely absolutely lovely wow okay uh now the test will be to let this cure and fully dry out and see how it turns out i expect it's gonna be just fine while we wait for this to cure let's talk about this video's sponsor into the am into the AM are my go-to for graphic tees and basic daily wear shirts. They're always putting out vibrant new designs printed in the highest quality possible. And they're printed on really nice, soft-fitted t-shirts. If big, bold graphic prints aren't your thing, then I recommend getting some of their basic tees. This is a really easy way to bulk up your wardrobe. What's cool is that you can stock up using their three packs to get a bunch of shirts for cheap. They're now offering three graphic tees for $61.95 and three basic tees for only $52.95. You can also save an additional 10% off your entire order if you go to their site using my link in the video description. So if it's time for you to get yourself some nice, comfy t-shirts that actually fit well, go grab some of these. You can stay comfortable while looking a lot more stylish. And even if you're a big fellow like myself at 6'2", 230 pounds of dad bod, they'll still fit you pretty well. And at my size, I can wear an XL for a snug fit or a 2XL for a baggy fit. And they make their shirts all the way up to 4XL, which I'm sure some of y'all will appreciate because it can be hard to get clothing in suitably large sizes. So again, if you want to stock up, make sure to use the link in my description to get an extra 10% off your entire order and the best possible value. Thanks into the AM for sponsoring this video. All right, it is the next day. First of all, these didn't take that long to dry. I think within a couple hours they were good to go. And yeah, they, <laughs> they've turned out awesome. I'm really happy with how these turned out. Even some of the spots where like the texture, or should I say the caulking is a bit thin, because I use these rubber mats that have a little bit of a texture on the smooth side, it still looks good. This is 100% success rate. However, this I'm not so sure about. I checked on it a few times, touching it uh, throughout the night last night, and it was still pretty soft. And even now, I have a feeling that it's not cured all the way through, so I don't know if I can even get it out. But we're gonna see what happens. I think it might have cured on the surface and uh, not all the way through. <laughs> because it's pretty thick. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at that. It's like still completely wet all the way through. So what that means is that either I have ruined this mold or it just needs to sit for a very, very long time, like a couple days to cure all the way through. Both of those scenarios mean that I think this is a failure because even if it does end up curing and removing nicely, if I have to wait like four or five days for that to happen, it's not very practical. This I'm gonna call a failure and I'm not gonna proceed with this big mold here. And boy, oh boy, am I glad that I didn't wreck this mold to test. Fit for the pit. These work so good that it offsets it. Personally, I wanted to use the pattern from those molds for the big play mat, but this will work fine enough. Uh, it 
I'll just use these rollers. I wanna see how they look painted. Because this is gray, it's a great starting point. Again, I got black, which would also be a fantastic starting point. Yeah, <laughs> it looks pretty good. Um, 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 should we try a little bit of a wash on them? Ooh, that's nice. Uh, I can tell that's gonna be sweet. That's gonna be very nice. Seriously, how good is that? So this technique, you could use it to make long strips of roads uh, you know, the flexible modular kind, just like I did the dirt pass, which is awesome. You could also use it uh, within a play mat or bigger piece of terrain, right? Have a path going through an area that's grassy or muddy or whatever. And I think it would work really lovely for that. I'm disappointed that it didn't work in the mold, but this works so well that it makes up for it. And it couldn't be easier. Get yourself uh, some texture rolling pins, some Dynaflex or comparable caulking, some kind of substrate to put it on. And uh, yeah, just Dawn dish soap in some water is more than enough to stop it from sticking. And I can't believe you don't have to wait for it to tack up before rolling it, but here we are. It worked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit the like button, let me know in the comment section below if there's something else you'd like me to try with this stuff. Uh, Drop me a comment, I'll see what I can do. If you wanna pick up some tools or supplies, head over to blackmagiccraft.ca. There I have an essential equipment page where I link to a bunch of stuff that I use regularly and shopping through those links helps fund the production of these videos. But there's one other way you can help fund the production of these videos and it's the best way and that is by supporting the channel on Patreon. I'd love to have you as the newest member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. That's it, that's all, cheers. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba